People in one federal way neighborhood are communicating with cops online now to fight crime. Coma Force Elizabeth Den got a demonstration of the new online interactive website today. How does it work, Liz? Okay, Connie, just think of it as an upgrade to your uh, crime watch, your neighborhood crime watch, like we all used to think yeah. of, right? But rather than wait for a meeting to learn about how police are dealing with a recent crime, like we all used to do, the latest information goes through police and the neighborhood right away. He's been in law enforcement for 30 years, and Federal Way Police Commander Chris Norman has a new tool that is changing the way he works. We have um, some thefts from vehicles. This was this happened over one or two nights. Using a new program called Online Watch, he looks at a map of the Twin Lakes area, which is the first neighborhood to try out the technology. But this gives us another tool so that the neighborhood can connect to us and we can connect to them. Here's how it works. If someone in the Twin Lakes neighborhood sees something suspicious, they can log it online. The information goes to police and the Twin Lakes neighborhood site, where a moderator approves the post and then sends it out to everyone who wants to be alerted. I mean, the program to me is very similar to Block Watch, but it's more interactive because it's instantaneous right on the spot. So I think it's the wave of the future. Right 26 now. years after moving into the neighborhood, Bob Hill says he's excited about a program that could better connect him and his 1,400 other neighbors and help them prevent crimes, especially after someone broke into his cars a few weeks ago. It's one of those things that you feel extremely violated after something like that happened. Now, Bob feels he has a chance to take back his neighborhood, and police feel they can add to their ranks without adding more cops to the streets. With city budgets the way they are, with tax revenue being down, so on and so forth, I mean, we're, we always feel like we're doing, trying to do the same or more with, with less. A rise in the number of home burglaries all over Federal Way has police hoping other neighborhoods will sign up to use this new program as well. But, Connie, police remind everyone, of course, if you see a crime in progress or there's an emergency, always call 911. Phone, but it's great to be involved because that solves a lot of the crimes. Yeah, this should help great. with a lot of the smaller situations. That. Yep. The state of Washington is going to have to pay a Mason County woman more than $2 million for a mistake that allowed her to become a crime victim. The woman says Danny Dorosky raped her 22 years ago when she was just 10 years old. This is him. After he was released from prison on a similar crime, the parole board was supposed to give him lie detector tests every 90 days to make sure he was staying away from kids. That never happened. Department of Corrections never supervised him. CPS had an opportunity to come in and stop it. They looked the other way as well. The victim says she still wants an apology from the state. She hopes to prevent this kind of failure from happening again.